Hey everybody, uh, Mr. Shining Gun Steer here. This is number four in my top five action animes of all time. <sighs> Man. Number four. Yes. It is Yu Gi Oh! I love it. And I especially love Kaiba Steer. So kick ass. Um, and speaking of Kaiba, he's my favorite character. And ironically, he had my favorite monster too. Blue eyes, white dragon. And he reminds me of how smart I am. And how much I love computers. And how much hard work he has to go for to get what he wants. And that's pretty much the same thing that I want to do with my life. Oh god. <laughs> hey, me and Kaiba. Perfect. That's a perfect match for me. Except I don't have any siblings. Anyway, Yu-Gi-Oh! was like the most kick-ass card game ever. Naruto was sort of like the next generation of the Naruto TCG, but I'll talk about that in number two. Um, man, Yu-Gi-Oh! was so kick-ass. I mean, I love the whole rivalry between Yugi and Kaiba, seeing who's better, because it's always seen that they were here, and then Yugi was here, Kaiba left to go up. But he still couldn't quite match the Yugi yet. It's hard to see what try, he would always lose. That's the only bad thing I had. To me, I would have made it more of a hit and run rivalry. Like to where Sonic and Shadow were in Sonic Adventure 2. You know, how one person beats the other, then the other person beats the person who beat them. You know, that kind of thing. Um, the card game was really cool and it was really basic. You know, really simple to play. You know, with 2,000 life points, you know, subtract attack, subtract this, magic cards, or whatever. Um, I remember I collected the deck and stuff. I collected the decks. Um, I think I had, like, three. My friend Jeremiah, he was really good at Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, I saw his deck. He had really cool cards. Um, I never had the Egyptian God cards, though, because I think they were just too cheap. I mean... Come on, if you if you're gonna play, if you're gonna be a real master, I mean, how come you can't be a master without using god cards? I mean, because that means you're just a fucking noob. Even if you have Exodia, that doesn't mean shit. That's why in tournaments, in Yu-Gi-Oh tournaments, god cards are banned because you're a fucking noob if you want to use them. And then the voice acting was really cool. Uh, <laughs> Dan Green, Dan Green. Man, I, would, I, I, I always wondered, when Dan Green goes into the booth to record um, the voices for Yami Yugi and Yugi, I mean, does he do them at the same time, or does he just do them separately? I mean, if he does them at the same time, that's pretty hard. <laughs> oh, man, that's pretty hard. I couldn't do that. Um, man, let's see. I liked the original series all the way up until Enter the Shadow Realm. Damn. It's hard for me to keep remember the series because I know the the main enemies. First, it was Pegasus, then Merrick, then the Big Five, I believe, and Noah. Yeah, I believe it was four. So four main enemies. Oh yeah, and Darts. That's five. That's five. And Yu-Gi-Oh went on for a long ass time. Um, I believe the let me see, 1996. Hmm. That's when it came out in Japan, I believe, 1999, so here, Yu-Gi-Oh! had stopped in 2004? Four or five? I'm not sure. I mean, I'm just taking a guess. Um, what else do I like about Yu-Gi-Oh? Hmm. Oh yeah, the side story, too. One moment. I like the whole... The whole side story to it, I mean, it just wasn't about dueling, 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 dueling. It was about, you know, Yugi, at least Yami Yugi anyway, who wanted to figure out his past and how he was linked to Yugi, you know, and Yugi's, like, his reincarnation in the future and stuff. I mean, but damn, it took, <laughs> it took them a while to do all that. Um, one thing I forgot, though, what... I can't remember which series it was where Yugi, I think, he actually, I'm not sure if that was part of the intro, but I think he actually helped Yami def defend himself against Bakura and Yami Bakura, I believe. 
I think. I think that was when they were doing the ancient past and stuff. And stuff. Man. Kaiba's ego. Damn. I mean, that was rude. He is rude as hell. He dissed Joey. He beat down Joey like two or three times. He was like, he called him a level, a second rate duelist or a third rate duelist. I mean, damn. Just complete dissing. I mean, he didn't give a fuck who he was playing. But I think the only person that Kaiba actually, that Kaiba actually feared and like really could not beat at all was um, Pegasus. I mean, if you saw his eyes, like, he was like, what the fuck, man? Are you serious? How the hell is this bitch reading my cards and all that? And then there's the story of the whole thing about the Millennium items. They weren't all collected, I don't believe. At least, we didn't see who held which Millennium items. I mean, we saw Pegasus with his Millennium Eye, Merrick with the Millennium Rod, Bakura had the Millennium Ring, and Yugi had the Millennium Puzzle. Oh yeah, and the Shizu, she had the Millennium Necklace. So, I don't know, there was the Millennium Scales, and then... Oh yeah, the Millennium Key. Actually, there was six people. I just don't know who held the... Shadi. Yeah, he had the Millennium Key. I don't remember who had the seventh Millennium item, though. But, yeah, it was pretty kick-ass. I mean, I liked a lot of the duels. My favorite duel was... Um... At least, as far as with Yugi and Kaiba not being in it, it was Merrick and Bakura. Bakura doing. Yeah, I like that duel. That duel is psycho, man. <laughs> Come over here and let me cut you. I mean, hug you. Hugging is what I meant. <laughs> ah, man. I also love the, the Yu-Gi-Oh! Abridged series, man. That's like my favorite line <laughs> from Merrick. Uh, ah, man. He, man, Little Karibo, man, he did an excellent job with that series. So kick-ass. And I'd also like to say congratulations to him for being number one in Japan. Because of the British Chase, I believe. That was really kick-ass, man. He's awesome. But, uh, yeah, that pretty much covers uh, what I liked about Yu-Gi-Oh. Hmm. Yeah, I think this video is pretty much over. So, uh, we'll move on with number three next. Can't wait. Peace, y'all.